I'm Sean with Kentucky Kids on the Block, and today I'm here with Dr. Azardy Garland. And you're going to read me a book, right? I am, Sean. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty well. I appreciate getting the chance to come and read for you. So what are we going to read today? We are reading one of the stories from the big, complete tales of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, cool. I used to watch that when I was a little boy. I know. I watched it when I was a little kid, too. So mm -hmm. I thought we would find one because April is Eeyore's birthday month. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, so I thought we would just talk about Eeyore and all the kind of stuff that Eeyore does and goes through and stuff. And he actually ends up having a really good time with his friends. Well, that's great. Let's get started. I can't wait to hear. Awesome. All right, Sean, Eeyore has a birthday and gets two presents. So, Eeyore, the old gray donkey, stood by the side of the stream and looked at himself in the water. Pathetic, he said. That's what it is, pathetic. He turned and walked slowly down the stream for 20 yards, splashed across it, and walked slowly back to the other side. Then he looked at himself in the water again. As I thought, he said, no better on this side, but nobody minds, nobody cares. Oh. Pathetic. That's what it is. There was a crackling noise in the bracken behind him, and out came Pooh. Good morning, Eeyore, said Pooh. Good morning, Pooh Bear, said Eeyore, gloomily. If it is a good morning, he said, which I doubt it is. Why? What's the matter? Pooh always makes everything better, doesn't he? He does. He's such a good friend. Mm -hmm. Nothing, Pooh Bear. Nothing. We can't all, and some of us don't. That's all there is to it. Can't all what? Said Pooh, rubbing his nose. Gality, song and dance. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Oh, said Pooh. He thought for a long time. What mulberry bush is that? Bon homie, went Eeyore gloomily. French word meaning bow homie. I'm not complaining, but there he is. Pooh sat down on the large stone and tried to think this out. It sounded to him like a riddle. Mm -hmm. And he was never such good at riddles, being a bear of very little brain. So he sang Colton's Pie instead. Colston, Colston, Colston Pie. I fly, can't birds, but a bird can fly. Ask me a riddle and I can reply. Colston, Colston, Colston Pie. Hmm. Never heard that one before. Me either. Mm -mm. That was the first verse. When he had finished it, Eeyore didn't actually say that he didn't like it. So Pooh very kindly sang the second verse. Colston, Colston, Colston pie. A fish can't whistle and neither can I. Ask me a riddle and I reply. Colston, Colston, Colston pie. Eeyore still said nothing. Hmm. So Pooh said Guess we'll go on to the third verse. Colston, Colston, Colston pie. Why does a chicken? I don't know why. Ask me a riddle and I'll reply. Colston, Colston, Colston pie. That's right, said Eeyore. Sing, umity tiddly, umity doo. Here we go gathering nuts and may. Enjoy yourself. I am, said Pooh. Some can said Eeyore. Hmm. He doesn't seem like he's having a very good day. I don't know that Eeyore has a lot of really good days, mm -hmm. but hopefully this one will be better. I hope so. Why? What's the matter? Is anything really the matter? You seem so sad, Eeyore. Sad? Why should I be sad? It's my birthday, the happiest day of the year. Your birthday, said Pooh. 
oh, of course it is. Can't you see? Look at all the presents I have had. He waved a foot from side to side. Look at the birthday cake, candles, and pink sugar. Who looked? Presents? Birthday cake? Uh, where? Can't you see them? No? Mm -mm. Neither can I. Joke. Uh huh. Oh, I bet. I bet no one remembered his birthday. I wonder if that's why he feels so upset. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see. Pooh scratched his head a little puzzled. But is it really your birthday? It is. Oh, well, many happy returns of the day, Eeyore. And many happy returns to you, Pooh Bear. But it isn't my birthday. No, it's mine. But you said happy returns. Well, why not? You don't always want to be miserable on my birthday, do you? Oh, I see, said Pooh. It's bad enough, said Eeyore, almost breaking down, being miserable myself. What, with no presents, no cake, no candles, no proper notice taking of me at all? But if everybody else is going to be miserable too. This was way too much for Pooh. Stay there, Eeyore. Pooh turned and hurried back home as quick as he could, for he felt that he may get poor Eeyore a present of some sort. At once, and he could always think of a proper one afterwards. Outside his house, he found Piglet jumping up and down, trying to reach the knocker. <gasps> Hello, Piglet! <laughs> Piglet's always so small. <laughs> so little. Who needs a lower yeah, knocker, doesn't he? He can't reach. No. Nope. <laughs> reach the knocker said piglet i just came around let me do it for you said Pooh. so he reached up and knocked at the door i have just seen eeyore he began and poor eeyore is in a very sad condition because it's his birthday and nobody has taken any notice of it he's very gloomy you know that is kind of what eeyore is but it is his birthday what a long time, whoever lives. Here is an answering, whoever is not answering this door. So he knocks again. Uh, but Pooh, uh, it's your house. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> oh, so it is. Well, let's go inside. <laughs> so in they went. The first thing Pooh did was go to the cupboard to see if he had quite a small jar of honey left. And he did. So he took it down. I'm giving this to Eeyore as a present. What are you thinking you're going to give Eeyore? Uh, well, couldn't I give it to him too? You know, from both of us? No, that would not be a good plan. Well, all right, then I'll give him a balloon. I've got one left from my party. I'll go and get it now, shall I? That piglet is a very good idea. It's just what Eeyore would probably need to cheer him up. So off Piglet trotted, and in the other direction went Pooh with his jar of honey. It was a warm day, and there was a long way to go. He hadn't gone more than halfway, when a sort of funny feeling creeped up on Mr. Pooh Bear. It went from the tip of his nose, tickled all the way down in his tummy and then into his feet. <gasps> now then, Pooh, time for a little something. Dear, dear, I don't know what it was. Then he's hungry. As, as late as that is, so Pooh sits down and takes the top off the jar of honey. Uh oh. Luckily, I brought this with me, he thought. Many a bear going out on a warm day like this would never have thought of bringing a little something with him. 
and Pooh began to eat. Oh no, he's going to eat the entire present! Uh-oh! <laughs> now let me see, he thought, as he took the last lick inside the jar. Ah, uh, yes. Oh no! I ate yours present! <laughs> oh, bother! What shall I do? I must give him something! For a little while, he couldn't think of anything. Then he thought, well, it is a very nice little pot, oh, even if there is no honey. He found a marker and he said, happy birthday, Eeyore. See, he could keep it and it would have his own name. So as he was passing the hundred acre wood, he went inside to call on Al who lived there. Good morning, Al. Good morning, Pooh. We have to be prim and proper with Al, Yeah, the what is all Al. Oh. Hmm. oh. Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday. Is that what it is? Well, what are you giving him, Al? What are you giving him, Pooh? I'm giving him uh, a useful pot to keep things in. Hmm. And I wanted to ask you, is this it, said Al, looking at Pooh's paw? Somebody's been keeping honey in this pot. Well, you can keep anything in this pot, said Pooh. It's very useful like that. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you, um, uh, Pooh, you really should write Happy Birthday Eeyore on there. Uh, th that, that's what I wanted to ask you, said Pooh, because my spelling is a little wobbly. Mm -hmm. It's good spelling, but it's a little wobbly. And the letters get a little in the wrong places sometimes. Mm -hmm. Would you write a happy birthday on it for me? Well, it is a nice pot. Uh, couldn't I give it two from both of us? No, that would not be a good plan. Now I'll just wash it first and then you can write on it. Yeah, good idea, washing it. <laughs> so Pooh goes and washes the pot and dries it. While Al licked the end of his pencil and wondered how to spell birthday. Can you read, Pooh? He asked. There's nothing about knocking and ringing outside my door which Christopher Robin wrote. Could read it? Christopher Robin told me what it said, and then I could. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what this says, and then you'll be able to. So Al wrote, and this is what he wrote. Hippity, happity, bertha, thudda, no. birthday. No. Pooh looked on. A happy birthday is what it says, Al. Hmm. It's a nice long one. Well, actually, of course, I'm saying a very happy birthday with love from Pooh. Naturally, it's going to take a good deal of pencil to say all of that long things and such. Oh, I see. While all this was happening, Piglet had gone back to his own house to get Pooh's balloon. And he wanted to get the uh, door. Uh-oh. Oh. I see what's going to happen. Oh, uh, no. Mm. You've been look you looked at the pictures, you saw the head, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. He held the balloon so tightly to him and he went running and running and running as fast as he could because he wanted to get to Eeyore before Pooh, where he thought that he wanted to be the first one to give Eeyore a present. He's running along and thinking how pleased he was and he just didn't look where he was going and bang, <gasps> boom, crash. <sighs> Piglet had put his foot in a rabbit's hole. It fell flat on his face. Oh, I bet someone's in the rabbit's hole. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Have you ever fallen? Huh. Yeah, have I ever? <laughs> oh, I've taken a couple of falls. It was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it is, especially if someone sees it happen. I know, right? And it looks like if it's in the rabbit hole, it could someone be somebody there. there. Mm -hmm. Piglet lay there wondering what had happened. At first, he thought the whole world had blown up. And then he thought perhaps only the forest part of it had blown up. And then he thought 
What if it was just me? And now I'm alone and nowhere. And I can't see Christopher Robin. And where's 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 Rabbit? And where's Eeyore? And where's Pooh? And what if I never see them again? <gasps> well, uh, even if I'm on the moon, I, I, I needn't be face down. So he cautiously got up and looked about. Well, we're still in the forest. Hmm. Well, that's funny. I wonder what that bang was. I couldn't have made such a noise falling down. Uh, where's my balloon? And that's the small piece of damp rag. What is it? It's the balloon. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie, dear, dear. Well, it's too late now. I can't go back and I haven't another balloon. Uh, perhaps Eeyore doesn't even like balloons anyway. So he trotted on rather sadly now and down he came to the side of the stream where Eeyore was and called out to him. Good morning, Eeyore. Good morning, little piglet. If it is a good morning, which I doubt, not that it matters. Many happy returns of the day, said Piglet. <sighs> Just say that again. Many ha- Wait a minute. Balancing on three legs, he began to bring his fourth leg very cautiously up to his ear. <sighs> I did this yesterday. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I can hear better now. Now what were you saying? He pushed his ear forward with his hoof. Many happy returns of the day, said Piglet. Meaning me? Of course, Eeyore. My birthday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me having a real birthday? Well, yes, Eeyore, and I brought you a present. I wonder what he's gonna give him now. Eeyore took down his right hoof from his right ear, turned round, and with great difficulty put up his left hoof. I must have that in the other ear now then. A present? Meaning me again. Yes. My birthday still? Of course, Eeyore. Me? Going on a real birthday? Yeah, Eeyore. I brought you a balloon. Balloon? You, you did say balloon. One of those oh. big colored things you blow up? Um, Gratity, song and dance. Here we are and there we are. Yes, Eeyore, but I, I'm really, I, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm very sorry, Eeyore, but I was running to bring it and, and I fell down. Dear, dear, how unlucky. You ran too fast, I expect. You didn't hurt yourself, little piglet. No, uh, uh, but I, 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 you were, uh, I burst your balloon. My balloon? My birthday balloon? Yes, Eeyore. Here it is, with many happy returns of the day. And he gave Eeyore the small piece of damp rag. Is this it? My present? The balloon? Uh. Yes. Well, thank you, Piglet. Oh, you don't mind me asking, but what color was the balloon when it, when it was a balloon? Red. Oh, I just wondered. Red. My favorite color. Oh, how, how big was it, Piglet? Oh, about as big as me, Eeyore. Piglet felt very miserable and didn't know what to do or what to say. He was still opening his mouth to begin something. And then he decided it wasn't any good to say that, this or that or anything. Many happy returns of the day, called Pooh, forgetting that he'd already said it. <laughs> Sometimes we wonder what Pooh remembers, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Pooh. I'm having them. I've brought you a little present, said Pooh excitedly. 
I've had it. Uh, Pooh slishing and sloshing across the stream and up to Pooh and Piglet. It's a useful pot, said Pooh. Here it is. And it's got a very happy birthday with love from Pooh written on it. That's what all this writing is. <laughs> and, and it's for putting things in, in, in there. When Eeyore saw the pot, he became quite excited. <gasps> Why, I believe my balloon will go into this pot. Oh no, Eeyore, said Pooh. Balloons are much too big to go in pots. What you do with the balloon is you hold the balloon. Uh, uh, not mine, mm -hmm. said Eeyore proudly. Look, Piglet. As Piglet looked sorrowfully around, Eeyore picked up the piece of balloon with his teeth and placed it carefully in the pot. So it does. It, it goes in, said Pooh. So it does, said Piglet, and it comes back out. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> it goes in and out of like anything. If it was blown up, it wouldn't do that. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm very glad, said Pooh happily, that I thought of giving you a useful pot to put things in. I'm very glad, said Piglet, that I thought of giving you something to put in your useful pot. <laughs> but Eeyore wasn't listening. He was taking the balloon out and putting the balloon back in, taking the balloon out and putting it back in. Oh, oh and I didn't, I didn't give you anything, said Christopher Robin walking up. Of course you did. You gave him, don't, don't you remember a little, a little? I gave him a box of paints and things. Oh. That was it. Why didn't I give it to him this morning? Hmm. You were very busy getting ready for the party. Oh, I mean, uh, oh, uh, uh, you mean, uh, the, the cake and icing and, and stuff. Uh, yeah, I remember we put his name in pink sugar and everything. Oh, yes, I do remember, said Christopher Robin. Eeyore had a birthday party after all. And he just couldn't remember it. He didn't know. Yep. He was so sad and focused on being so sad that he forgot that he had all these cool things happen. Mm -hmm. I am so glad that Eeyore had a chance to have a great birthday. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, and I'm glad that his friends didn't forget about his birthday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And guess what? <gasps> Pooh's little jar turned out mm -hmm. to be just the right thing. And even though Piglet fell, turns out, Eeyore needed the balloon to be broken. Mm -hmm. So it all worked out anyway. It did. You know what? I think Winnie the Pooh teaches us a lot of cool things. Yeah, I think you're right. You ever get sad sometimes? <sighs> yeah. You know, I've dealt with depression myself. Oh. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. Sounds kind of like Eeyore, huh? Yeah, sometimes I feel that low. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe like Eeyore, we got to remember all the cool, fun stuff that happens more than we think about maybe all the worry and, and yeah. you know, not, not being the right thing or looking the right way or, mm -hmm. or knowing the right people. Maybe yeah. sometimes we just got to remember who's but, around us. Yeah, remember the happy things. You see, my depression started after I had a brother who, well, he, he passed away and you know, after a while, I started seeing a counselor, and my counselor has really helped me. And now I try to focus on all the happy memories that I had with my brother, <laughs> and I'm able to laugh about those. Oh, that's awesome. Sean, sometime maybe we can talk about your brother more. Yeah, I'd like that. That'd be great. Well, well thank you so much for reading this great book to me. You're very welcome. I'm I glad I could it. come by. Yeah, and thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Bye!